Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Happy Monday, girl. It is 4 p.m. on the dot. 4 p.m. on the dot. I have just been chilling. I've been cleaning up a little bit. Just got finished washing dishes, wiping down my little kitchen, girl. Hanging up clothes, and I'm watching the FedEx man get back in his little trucks. I just got a delivery. And my groceries been delivered. And my Fashion Nova Basics were just delivered outside into my package box from... UPS. So all my stuff has been delivered like back to back to back. Like, dang, I was just putting on my house shoes to go outside and get it. And then I had saw one truck, one this, one that. And I was like, let me just let everything just be what it's going to be. And then I'm going to go out and get everything. So that's what I'm about to do next. And then after that, once I get all the groceries um, put away, then I'm going to show you uh, my coordinate sets that I got from Fashion Nova. Um, some quick. Just some quick coordinate sets that you can throw on with your um, cardigans, or blazers, what have you. When you're running late for work, you need a quick outfit options. I'm telling you, coordinate sets are the best for that. Especially during the 3 o'clock hour, girl, when you're trying to make it work by 4 a.m. I'm telling you, a coordinate set comes in clutch during those hours. So that's what I did. I picked up me some more of those. I think I got three or four of them. Yeah, no, no, I got four. I definitely got four because I ordered these sets during the BOGO sales. Okay, so like I said, they're just super basic, super basic sets that you can dress up and down. So I'll probably show you those, but like I said, I'm trying to get out and get me something to eat. I was wanting some Burger King, girl. I want me a Whopper with cheese. So, yeah, though I need to get out and do some stuff. I just want to get out the house for a minute, so... Maybe that won't that'll just do if you just go to Burger King, come on back, and then just get right back into the to the stuff, okay? Because I'm ready for you to see this fashion over stuff. love these cookies haven't bought any up in a while but they are so delicious and so addictive love those and i hadn't had boiled peanuts in a while so i had to get me a can of these had to pineapple um peach chipotle salsa i'll show you what i eat this with tomorrow because i don't feel like cooking today some instant espresso for my coffee drinks. And when I want instant espresso, this just works. It gives my iced coffees and my regular coffees an extra kick. So I re-upped on my rice, some shredded lettuce, some cheese for my little rice bowls, my makeshift chipotle bowls that I make here at home. That's what I got this um mango pineapple salsa for, girl. So good, so good, so quick and easy could do it tonight i really could it doesn't take long but i just want a burger today i really want to have a, a burger king whopper that's what i want and then tomorrow we might cook some bananas i love bananas and my regular household stuff i just love this conditioner the vo5 conditioner for super naps like mine girl it just makes my detangling process so much easier when i use this vo5 my milk and honey body wash. This is hand soap. This one's going in my bathroom in my bedroom because I was out in there. Um, yeah. Makeup removal. We're going to see what this Bridgerton uh, creamer is talking about. The bottle is so cute. English toffee. We're going to get into it. Probably later today. All right, y'all. So I changed my mind about the Whopper. I'm going to go ahead and cook because I just opened my... My salsa and had a few chips with it, so it made me wanna maybe wanna go ahead and make my rice bowl. So that's what we're gonna do. So good though. Even though I'd rather have this waffle, I just don't feel like going anywhere. I have those days. Well, that's gonna be one or two of my off days where I stay in the whole time and 
I guess that's what this finna turn into. We're just finna be in here all day. But meanwhile, um, we'll go ahead and get into the Fashion Nova basics. And two, we might get into me a new set of Gel X nails because my nails are looking cray cray. All right, so I have a little over half a cup of rice and two bouillon cubes in here. And that's how I like to cook my rice. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start my chicken. Oh yeah, I have to sprinkle my chopped chives in just for some color. Then of course you'll do it again at the end. And I just cook this chicken fresh as I go, as I eat these little rice bowls. So I'm gonna take two tenders out, wash them, cut them up and season them. And when you cut them up into bite-sized pieces, it just cooks so much faster. This is one easy little meal to make. All right, the rice is doing its thing. It'll be done soon. Meanwhile, I just put the chicken in the skillet, seasoned it up. This will not take but a few minutes, literally about maybe three minutes to cook. And you just season your chicken to your liking. I like to use a little Dale seasoning and pepper, garlic and herb seasoning, and a little onion salt. All right, now we're gonna assemble our bowl. And these are the items we're using, girl. Right here, and a little shredded lettuce. All right, the rice is nice and fluffy. Go ahead and assemble our bowl. All right, here we go. I have it all plated up. I tried to plate it up real nice and pretty like a Caribbean style dinner because that's what this gives. It tastes so good with the guacamole salsa. You got your peach mango and then we have like a Mexican cream on top, which is like a queso slash sour cream. It just gives it a fresh taste. It just tastes very, very Caribbean. Now, if you had black beans to go with it, that would really be yummy too. But girl, let's go ahead and get into it. This is so good. And I have half a cup of rice on my plates. I use that scoop to create the shape, the half cup scoop. All right, guys, good morning, good morning. I'm about to do my nails. I'm trying to decide, do I want the square medium length or do I want the rounded kind of pointy nails the almond nails i don't know i really don't know even though i do love these i love these too these are cute i think i'm gonna go with these because these are like my favorites i like the length on these i like the way they make my hands look so we're gonna go with these though i love these too I get all these things from Amazon. I'll have everything linked down below, but my favorite no wipe top coat is from Nail Reserve. I'll have all of their information down below too. And they have the most fabulous gel nail colors ever. Like I swear by them. I've been using them for forever. Though this is like a name change for them. But yeah, all their information will be down below, girl. Check them out. Love, love, love. But it's just something about a French tip for me. I just love, love, love. I'd rather have this any day. Though I do love a good nude gel look too. But we're going to go with these. And I am definitely obsessed with Gel X type nails. I have them in all styles, shapes, and lengths. So girl, by now I kind of feel like, I really feel like a nail tech. Because girl, these nails be nailing. And each time I do them, they always stay on for me for at least three weeks or more. And I do have now, I have all types of UV nail lamps, but this is my first cordless one. Picked this up from Amazon and I absolutely love it. And this little buddy right here is like best for doing these gel X. So you can cure the gel as you put the nails on. And then when you're ready to cure the entire hand, once you have your top coat and all that stuff on, you go ahead and do the, do the thing, you know, the whole hand. But yeah, love, love, love for any gel lamp would, would do though. I'll link some very good ones that I own that because I own, I can't even lie to you. I have at least 
six of these, like of different styles, and they are all great because brands have sent me these to try, and I absolutely love them. I know, I think I've given Diamond one too, but they are great. Definitely, definitely something that you would need to have if you're into doing your nails at home. These are relatively inexpensive as well. You're definitely going to need one of these, but I'm looking to get the clip-on light because sometimes I do find it hard for me to go in from the side with this. But yeah, still works like a pro though. I love it. But we're going to we're gonna use all of these things today. But this is not going to be a full-on tutorial, okay? Because I got things to do. We'll have to do that in, an, in another video. But I do use my power bank to power this one. Let's get started. And this is what I've been using to adhere my nails lately. I've fallen in love with this one. Though, I do like base coat gel from um, the Nail Reserve as well. I love theirs. That is what I've been using for years before I discovered this. And I only got this because, you know, they came from um, the same seller. They were all on sale. There's usually a good sale on these all the time on Amazon by the Born um, By Me brand. So, yeah. I just be online trying stuff and I have the Born Pretty Dehydrator Kit. Now, I normally never use a dehydrator kit, but I'm going to try it today because I've seen other girls using it and they think that it it helps. But girl, like I said, without using this, my nails still stay on for at least three weeks or more. But we're going to see what this is talking about too. Because, you know, they use this at the nail salon when they're doing gel x and acrylic nails at least that's what i used to see them using this on me for when i used to be an acrylic girl but it's been at least six years since i've had acrylics on because i have fallen in love with my press ons and my gel x but lately that's all i have been wearing is my gel x but girl let me stop talking let's go ahead and get into it but before you start you want to go ahead and clip and buff the top of your nails so that's what i'm going to do and then apply my dehydrator, then the primer, then uh, this to the base of my nails. Then I'm going to stick these down, put my nail under here to cure it under this. When I say under here, under this, and then we're going to power on our cordless UV lamp. Let me make sure this thing is charged up while I'm doing all this talking. Yes, yes, we have charge. But this is why I love this because, girl, I like to sit in here in my room, do my nails in the bed and watch Netflix or whatever I'm going to watch. So, yeah, so convenient with this. So convenient. But like I said, cordless does the same thing. But I just love this because I keep my toes gelled up as well. I love a good gel French manicure on my toes. Um, Everybody be thinking that I be having press-ons on my toes. But no, girl, I'm just real good like that. Let me just go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start by buffing at the top of my nails with my nail file. It's gonna look like this. And then I'm gonna go in with my nail prep dehydrator kits. All right, so now that you have all the nails buffed, this is how it's going to look. And we're going to run through this really quick because this ain't a full-on tutorial. We'll do one of those another day. But yeah, this is how they look. Now we're going to go in with the dehydrator and then the primer. And then we'll be ready to stick the nails on. I'm telling you, this is a fast, easy process.
All right. All right, so now we're gonna go in with our six in one nail glue base gel. You can put this underneath the nail or you can paint the nail with it like I'm doing. Whatever works for you. This kind of works best for me sometimes. I put a little right there under it. You can see the gel under. And I want to just push it as far back under my cuticle and begin to lay it down just like that. So it's seamless and you have no air bubbles. You see that? No air bubbles under this nail. Just about 10 seconds just to get it stuck in place. Just like that. Look at that. OMGG. I'm just going to repeat the process. That's it. That is literally it. All right, so this is what the nails look like before you put on your base coat, the six in one base and top coat. But I like to put on a no wipe top because I don't like the wiping. That's why it's called a no wipe. But this took like three minutes, maybe five tops to do this. So I'm going to cure these for 30 seconds. All right, and there we go. That is how these nails are done. Super cute. I did two layers of the top coat, two layers of the, the gel base coat. So that's just what I do. I love it. Hey girl, welcome back. Welcome to the start of a Tuesday, girl. It is 12 or 31 p.m. I have been up for a while. I've had coffee. My friend came over and brought me one of my delicious pigs in a blanket. Done my nails. I'm pretty sure I've already shown you that already because... That's how my day started, girl. I was up and moving because I know I'm pretty positive that my shift tomorrow is going to begin between 3.30 a.m. and 4 a.m. So whatever I'm going to do today, girl, I got to go ahead and do it and get it out the way. So I've already gotten dressed, washed my face. I'm going to put me on some eye cream and then we're going to head out and some lip gloss. But yeah, girl, we are dressed in one of our casual fits. From Fashion Nova, the weekend vibe sets through on a blazer, sneakers, and a baseball cap. So that is the look. We don't have anything too special. We don't have anything special planned at all. We're going to go over here and hit my favorite thrift store. Probably hit the coffee shop first, then thrift store, then come on back. And two, I do want to go by Target to see what black-owned brands they have in store for Black History Month. Check out their t-shirts, sweatshirts, and see if they have some of that cute... Um, stationery that they had in last year that i didn't i didn't get to pick up any but walmart did have some beautiful black owned stationery brands and like journaling books notebooks all that type of thing like i said i didn't get a chance to get any but i do want to grab a piece or two this year for black history month um so yeah probably coffee shop Thrift store, Target, since I didn't get to eat Burger King yesterday, I want it today. We're definitely going to have Burger King today. Then hurry up and bring it on back in because I definitely need to wash my hair because my scalp is on 10. I definitely need to wash my hair, get it detangled real good, conditioned, and put it up in place. Girl, I really need a relaxer. I stopped getting relaxed because I thought I wanted to go natural, but girl, natural isn't for me. I can't do this. We need my hair relaxed. Oh yeah, we'll probably go by the Dollar General Market since I'm talking about my nappy hair because that's normally where I get my relaxer from. So we'll probably pick up an, a pack of that. I'm not saying that I'm going to get to it today though, but I'll have it for next weekend. My next day's off. Probably have to tackle that on a Sunday. Get this hair relaxed and probably go back into a ponytail. But I do have some wigs this week that I need to review and get those videos up. Because, girl, I am way behind. <laughs> I suck as a influencer as it pertains to getting stuff up on time a lot of the times. Because, girl, 
Y'all know I work a full-time job, so it'd be hard for me to do this stuff. But I do have some stuff in my bag that I'm going to share with you once we get situated um, at the coffee shop. I got some new pink and cute, aesthetically pleasing um, electronics for my day-to-day -day life and needs. And like I said, I might take a trip or two soon just to add some spice and flair to the channel. Y'all remember when I talked all that crap about this bag when I first got it and now I have just been carrying it. I literally carried this a week straight this past week and probably going into this new week. I am contemplating getting it in black and that ox blood color and I'm carrying this in the medium size. I like it and I know that they just had a recent restock on the pinks and reds in lieu of valentine's day but i missed that one i don't know if i want i don't think i really wanted it in pink and red but i definitely saw the sale just wasn't interested but i wouldn't mind having it in black or the ox blood maybe even brown i wouldn't mind grabbing this in the chocolate brown as well but it's a cute tote bag and people are less judgmental when i'm carrying this bag because y'all know people are full-blown haters these days but yeah it's nice for what it is. Just a tote bag, right? Eh, still nothing special. Definitely still nothing. And just so y'all know, I do use this camera. I use this quite a bit, y'all. You have no idea how much I love this little DJI Osmo 2. This camera is the bomb. I just took this holder off of my windshield because I never used it. But I just had an idea for shots in the car. I'm trying to see how I can mount this to where oh just like this bam from the sunroof let me figure this out real quick and we'll be back because this could this could definitely work but I cannot have my camera followed in the car This is gonna be this is gonna be nice. going with a pink aesthetic as it pertains to my travel accessories i had to pick up these earbuds girl and wait till you see these these are so cute then on the outside it has like a digital 
battery monitor right up front. And as you can see, they're at like 100%. So cute. They really almost look like the Apple Pod Pros. So cute. And they're pink. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get them looked up so we can hear how they sound. And if I didn't say, girl, I picked these up from Amazon. So these are really nice. They fit comfortably in the ear and they sound really good too, girl. Especially for the price point, really, really nice. Highly recommend, especially if you're a pink girly. So you definitely, definitely have to check these out. Take a little power on Banks before. But this time I have it in pink as well and this is Amazon Prime too. How cute is this? OMG. Wish it had more of a rose gold tint to it, but I like this one too though, it's really cute. Though I do have a pink power bank. I'll have this one linked if I can down below too. But these are my favorite on the go gadgets right now. My work phone was completely dead right now, so this will have me powered on within the next two or three minutes. But that is how it looks connected. Definitely check it out. Even though I know I don't need a part, I always grab one, just in case. Walmart has all the Tamp coffee makers that I want. That's a little cute one for 40 bucks. One of these days, I'm gonna have one. I'm definitely gonna have one. We could definitely have it now. We just don't have the space for it. So I don't know where I'd put it. So red line packaging is giving looks. I love that shape. Yo, know, I'll never forget one time I was coming down the aisle and I saw a lady actually rubbing these on her lips, like trying them on in the store. I was so grossed out. You know, why did I just find a lip bar Christmas set? One left in the store. It's ringing up in the app, 349. So we definitely have to get this. And then we're gonna do a red lip gloss versus their red liquid lipstick. All right, so I'm so happy with today's finds, girl. OMGG. I had this linked for months okay probably since november in some of my videos when you guys were all about my red lip bar liquid lipstick and this gift set was coming up this gift set originally was like 13 bucks during the holidays girl i just got it for three to three dollars and 49 cents with tax it was 380 um and then i picked up one of their red um, lip glosses because the one that I wanted by Chanel, because I love the Chanel lip glosses. I am a big Chanel lip gloss girly, but they discontinued one of my favorite reds. So I know that I'm going to love this one by the lip bar. I love all of their products, but I am so happy to have found this little mini trio. And it has the two favorite reds and like the rich auntie and a really pretty pink. So I'm excited about that girl. I really love it when I can find gift sets because gift sets allow you to try a multitude of things, you know, for one, one relatively good price, you know, even though they're usually smaller sizes, but you still get to get a feel of the product. And that's what I love about having a good gift set, mini lipsticks, and then a full size red lip gloss. This one's in Vixen. Oh, can't wait. Because, girl, the winter weather has done 
the thing to my lips. I have been having to go to bed with um, Aquaphor's healing ointment on my lips to get them back to this because, girl, they were so dry and so cracked. I know that if I had my humidifier going in my room, that they would have been fine. But, girl, I could wake up in the middle of the night and my lips would be just like bloody cracked. Like, literally bloody cracked. Like, oh my gosh, Chanel, who? Oh. The pigmentation on this is bomb. Oh my God. And it feels so moisturizing immediately on the lips. Girl, it feels so good. Definitely a must have. Mm -hmm. so cute so shiny so glossy girl matches my nose and my cheeks girl all the shine <laughs> but the gloss is everything girl lip bar for the win so i told y'all once before the goal is to collect all of the lip bar lip products girl i especially got to get a few more of these glosses these glosses everything So I'm back home with a better look at the lippy. The coverage and like the color payoff. Girl. Chef's kiss. Love, love, love it. So pigmented. The best lip gloss ever, girl. Chanel could never. Chanel could never. I am sold on these. Like I said, the goal is to eventually get every color. Of the lip gloss and the, the liquid lipsticks by the lip bar. But so as you see, we didn't go to Target. I couldn't do all of that because I had I had eggs in the car. I had like liquid egg whites in the car, so we couldn't do the most. Nor did we go to the thrift store. We'll save that for a vlog later in the week. But yeah, girl. Um, about to get ready for unwind time. Take my wig off. Take this lip gloss off and get in the shower. Wash my hair because that's going to take like an hour. And get ready for bed, girl. So I got to be at work at 3.30. Yeah, so I bought egg whites. I want to try that. I've never had an egg white omelet before. They say that this is kind of better for you, but we'll see. I'll be the judge of that. I'll let you know how I like this, but I don't know. I like the yolk mixed in. You know, I like a yellowy. Um, but we'll see if that's any better. I don't know. Let me know what you think down below. Are you an egg white girly? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to like this, but I'm going to try it. We'll give it a try. And I re-upped on my boiled peanuts because I killed that can last night. So I just bought three more cans. But this ain't something that I need to be getting into like that. But it, I'm like that. Like Once I like something, I stay attached to it for at least um, two or three days. So yeah, that's just how I operate. I get addicted to things real fast, okay? That's why I can never I can never do I can never do drugs because I know I'll be an addict. <laughs> Boy, before I let y'all go, I opened up this little um the lip bar gift set. Dang girl, I still am in shock that I found this in store. Um let me show you the colors that I got. So we got Boss Lady. This is the one that y'all be loving so much. Boss Lady. I got It Girl. It's like a, a fuchsia like pink. And then we got Rich Auntie. Now this is one 
that I've really been wanting to try. It has like a raspberry, like red look to it. It's real pretty. Rich Auntie, Boss Lady, and this one's just going to be the wild card. We're going to see how we like this one. But this one could be real pretty with a brown liner though. Definitely go to your Walmart and traipse the aisles and see if you see some on an end cap. This was the last one on an end cap next to the lip bar products. All right, girl, that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this vloggy log. Let me know down below how you felt about it, okay? Make sure you subscribe to my channel, girl. Hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads, okay? Until next time, I will see you in my next video. And that'll definitely be another video. Bye.